one it would have been, she just went through all the Pokemon that would have it. Have a black feather. Murkrow, is that what it is? Yo! Ah, did you get the the food? Yes, here it is. Great. Right, so I will put a little bit down. There. Georgie, Huey, Makoi. I don't know what that means. Ah, they've come. Oh, that's the name that he's given to the um the little pie doves, that's what it is. Okay, so he can now rest his heart is content because the pie doves are back. And they're very cute. George Huey McCoy. And this guy, he's really tired, isn't he? Hmm. <laughs> right, then I'll leave this feed with you. Okay, good. Hey, Pie Dove! Have you, um... Assaulted that iPom? Pie! Huh? They saw the iPom, however. They don't... Oh, do you remember anything about an assault on the iPom? Oh. <laughs> they are the type of bird that has a bird's brain, meaning that they forget things every three steps they take. Interesting. Murkrow confirmed. Thank you, peeps. Ah, don't worry about it, he says. I think he's going to go ahead and take one of the ta one of the feathers from it. <gasps> he did. And it's obviously different. Got a different coloration, boys. Look at that. It has to be the Murkrow, because it's not as beautiful as the Taylor, and it doesn't look anything like that other business. They all say the same thing. Oh, I can ask about the necklace. <laughs> okay, so he's saying that we already asked about it. But the reason it was going to answer us is because it's got a three second memory or something. Um, let's ask about its name. Ah, oh, interesting. So we're actually asking about the name that's been given to this particular one that we're talking to from that salary man over there. Makoi. Oh, Huey and Georgie. Okay, we're asking about all their names. Huh? I'm wrong? Then why... what about these names? What is it? You've forgotten? Ah, oh, you guys are useless. So it seems as though that man over there has just given them names just to his liking for no particular reason. This will make for a sad photograph? What? <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with those. Hey! Pikachu! The victim had this pose, and according to the... <laughs> it's important to think from the perspective of the victim from time to time. Oh, you're such a clever little electric rat. Mouse thing.
Okay, so we're asking her about the fight. Seems that that she might know something. No, she doesn't. <laughs> okay, feathers. Do you understand? Do you know which Pokemon would have this type of feather? It's a bird Pokemon, it seems, but I'm not exactly sure which one. Ask about bird Pokemon. There are four types. Oh! There's four now. Oh, in this park there are three areas. Oh, it's divided into three areas. And different bird Pokemon live in different areas. So about these three areas. The first one is the fountain area. To the right is the cafe area and to the left is the na nature area. Okay, cool. We need to go to that nature area to have a look at those damn Murkrows. You can ask about the fountain area. What Pokemon are... what, what bird Pokemon are near the fountain area? The Pydoves are usually around the cafe area. The Talos are there. The nature area. The... oh there's another one! Mukuru. Mukuru. Does anyone know what that one is in English? The Mukuru and the... What was that other one called? The crow thing? <laughs> Murkrow. That's it. Um, could you please tell us about each one? Right. The Mukuru. Are you sure that's not the Murkrow? The Mukuru... Always hang around in packs of three. The Murkrow... At noon time... Fly around the outside of the park, maybe? Okay. Or during the day? Let's go to this nature zone. Objection! Now that's a Murkrow and a Honchkrow. I knew it. Alright, we've got a bit of Illuminati happening, do we? Good stuff. So there should be two types of crow Pokemon in this area. And there are some over on that bench. Is there anything else we can... Oh, God, God. My apologies. Can I type out the name? Um, sure. Let me go to my Kaiwa log. Mukuru. Here, I'll type it into the chat. There you go, bananas. Okay. Straight to the birdies. So who do we have? Oh, they're just, um, Talos. Aren't they? <gasps> no, they're the Mukuru. Their head looks a bit different. Starly. Ah, here they are. Starlies. Let's ask about the Black Feathers. They don't know anything about it, in truth. About the the ones that attacked the IPOM at the fountain. Oh, they've got some sort of... Oh, it's some sort of clue as to the culprit. Okay, and we're asking to take one of their feathers. Ah, and he's agreeing to give a feather. Okay, he was reasoning why we wanted their feathers, yeah, to to look for clues and evidence regarding the attack, yep. And, looks like the Starly's feather is... It is different, isn't it? Have a look. 
Yeah, here's the one that we have. However, it might not be that easy. That kind of looks bluey black. It it could be one of the birds that we've come across, but something has happened to it. It's put itself in bubblegum sauce. Because these stupid monkeys are getting in paint and ketchup. And it could be one of these birds. Look at the shape of that. Oh, that's a little bit different, actually. It'd be good if it wasn't that simple. We'll see. Probably is that simple. Oh! They're gone! I had more questions for those. There's a friggin' friggin' up there! I wanna see if... Oh, there they are. Oi! And now I can't speak to them. But they look really cool in 3D. Let's see if I can reset their positions. There's more I wanted to talk to them about. The pidgets. You like my attempted pun there? Oh cool, we can talk to him. Okay, Starly. Let's ask about the Murkrow. So, do the Murkrow live in this area? They haven't seen any, however... Do you know where they could have gone? They went out to search for something shiny. Oh, so they like shiny things. And the things that they collect, they put in their nests, huh? Where would we be able to find a Murkrow nest? Um, you should ask an IPOM. An IPOM would know. Oh yeah, of course, because they hang out in trees. And it seems as though there are some IPOM in this area. Yes, we just saw one. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Alright, let's ask about IPOM. They're also causing mischief in this area. Okay, enlightened. Do you have anything different? No. Do you have anything different? No, good. Oh, the monkey is... There he is. Speak. Hey, Ipom. We want to ask you a question. And the dog thing? What's the dog called? Dogimon has said... Pona. <laughs> he is dragging me away. Oh, I can't ask the question. Okay. So we've got another little puzzle. How to get this pooch... Poochina. 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 Snapple. Hello. Okay, Poochina, what's your deal? Oh, it's called Pochina in Japanese too. Ha <laughs> ha. But he says Pona. Unless I was reading that wrong. What did he say? He is playing around here. Don't be... don't get in his way. Okay, so we're being... we're getting in his way apparently. Okay, so that's not happening. What can we do about little pooch hyena? Let's talk to the man. Yes. Asking about the black feathers now. Ah, those black things. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if they belong to those. Hmm. Hmm, but other things that are black exist, I think. Hmm, however, I don't understand exactly what that belongs to. <laughs> now let's ask about the Murkrow. Could you tell us something about the Murkrow? Um... They are always hanging around in groups of three. And they fly around this area here. 
And they do things like landing on branches. And landing on that table over there. Okay. Let's ask about... Oh no, I was just asking about the Starlies. Or whatever they're called. Now I'm asking about the Murkrow. Is there something you can tell us about the Murkrow? It seems as though they live in this area, don't they? Ah, yes, but during the day they fly around, it seems. So there are many instances where they are not here. Sometimes they will fight with IPOM. Du -du -du -du. Yay. And I have seen such a thing happen before. Ding, 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 ding. Happiness. Alright, let's ask about IPOM. Um, that IPOM, where, about that IPOM, where is it, or something, he is under the tree around this area. Ah, and he refuses to come down whilst that pooch hyena is in the area. Lately, that pooch hyena has been coming here to live, I guess. Taking up residence, or, yeah. So he feels as though maybe it's it's come here to stay, to move here or something. Okay. Let's talk to this thing. This is your cue, peoples. It's a grainer. Grainer. Hey, grainer. We want to just ask you a couple of questions. Is that okay? Huh? The pooch hyena? What happened? Ah, that one pooch hyena. Something about the time that it goes to sleep during the day as a nap. Seems as though it hasn't returned back. Or maybe it comes over here to take a nap or something. And thanks to that, one more. They're worried that they can't sleep. Or something. Oh, the life of a Pokemon is hard, isn't it? Okay, so... Ah, I see. So that Pooch Hyena refuses to have his daily nap because there's another Pooch Hyena somewhere that we have to find for it. I think that's what's happening. Ask about the Black Feathers. Mm, it seems as though this black feather thing is nothing to do with your um, coat. We understand that much. Okay, that's all I had to say. Asking about the pooch hyenas. Um, where do you think the pooch hyenas go to? Always over there near the the flower field. They play there. Ah, I see. So I've noticed a weird place. I have... S let's... Let's go and have a good look at it. Okay, so they play in the flower fields or something. Okay, now we're asking about the Starlies. I think that's what they're called. Okay, I think that just said that they they tweet about the place and sometimes they get in contact with the pooch hyenas or something. They might kind of fly around them. <laughs> it's just an alibi. I oh, know this 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 game is like this story is many layers of an onion. It's like 
mystery wrapped in an enigma wrapped in prosciutto mm. delicious can any actually see whether rfg is wearing a hat or not huh <laughs> what i'm not wearing a hat neither is my little avatar tim here but the pikachu is for sure illuminati has not been confirmed face cam no face cam today this one's for utubes as well Hello YouTube. Say hello to the YouTube people. All right, let's stop fooling around. So, what type of what type of Pokemon is the Murkrow? Is the next question. Have you seen them around at all? Okay, I didn't understand that one so much. It looks like we didn't get any major revelations. Alright, so perhaps we're looking for some sort of flower field. Unless I'm derping pretty hard, I can't remember seeing any flowery fields. I'm going to have to um, have a play. Okay. I'm just re-asking about the Pooch Hyenas. Okay, so that red stuff, I'm going to have to translate like fully proper. I understand flower from it, but there's more to it. And we've got Uekomi. What does Uekomi mean exactly? It's growthing. Thick growth of trees, thick growth, shrubbery. Okay. But as for the flower thing, we've got a very complicated second kanji there. So this will be interesting to try and write, to draw into my electronic dictionary that I'm currently using. Hopefully I'm drawing it good enough. Flower bed. Okay. Flower bed and shrubbery. So at the flower bed and shrubbery it plays. That's a weird place to be playing. Let's make sure to look at it properly. Okay, so we do have to investigate. Oh, is this... Is this an example of... Okay, we've got to find flower bed and shrubberies. <laughs> it makes me... Oops. Oops, that was an accident. It reminds me of... um. Is it Monty Python in Search for the Holy Grail? The Knights of Knee wanted the, the shrubberies. It'll be one of these things, damn it. Oh hey Raiko. I'm playing Detective Pikachu. It's 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 pretty grand actually. I'm really enjoying it. It's not only fun to be playing a detective adventure. But to be playing it in Japanese is super bonus. Alright, in the search for a shrubbery. What a life we lead. Oh, Pikachu. First. Okay. He's asking us... Let's find the other one. That's right, there are two of these pooch, hy pooch hyenas. Yep, thanks for that Pikachu. It's got to be, ah, shrubbery, yes. Yes. It's the other pooch hyena. Whoa. Oh. Pikachu, this this one here. Ah. Oh. It's your time to take a nap. The good Aina has been searching for you. Oh. <laughs> 
And with that, he's um, quietly gone to go have his sleep, I guess. So let's go and check out the um, what's going on at the uh, pond. Cool. Oh, he did it. Yes, the Knights of Knee. Here we go. His friend's gonna chase him, is he? Good stuff. Yes, they're so cute. Look at them. Wonder if you're happy. Uh, looks as though they're resting um, peacefully, I guess. So let's leave them to it. Yes, let's. Good stuff. Now we can talk to the iPom. I like this. It's not just a simple work out this problem by going to area A and putting your magnifying glass on item B. There's a little bit more to it. I'm liking it. It's called Med Med Hyena in French. Ah, the more you know. Ding ding ding. <laughs> ding ding ding. How does that go? Because I'm not American. It's like a star. And there's a, the more you know. Do they still do those adverts? They probably do. And there's like a sparkly sound or something. Anyway, that's an aside. Okay, so the Pooch Iana is sleeping, so you can feel free to come out, I guess. Ah, good. Right, now we can ask about... The IPOM that appear in front of the train station. So, your group about that necklace. Do you know anything about that IPOM that was carrying that necklace? I haven't moved from this tree today, so I don't know anything about what my buddies have been up to. Okay, let's ask about the Murkrow, who we still haven't seen yet. Have you heard about the fight that happened? Do you know of anything that was happening between, I guess, the IPOM and the Murkrow? Ah, so just a little while before, when he was playing with his buddies, In a tree where Murkrow live, they climbed up and... A Murkrow... Oh god, Nawa buddy, I know this word. Nawa buddy. Oh yeah, roped off. Ah oh, yeah, yeah, his territory. So they infringed upon their territory. My, my beedrill will pierce the heavens. Stop piercing the heavens. The heavens are pierced enough thanks to anime. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> Lol. Alright. They attack them. So that the... The... The Ipom and the Murkrow of this park... Every time they meet eyes, they are going to fight. Interesting. We got a turf war indeed. Alright, let's ask about the nest of the Murkrow. Okay, so which tree do they nest in, the Murkrow? So there's a thick tree near the pond. Thanks for that information. Okay, the last thing, black feathers. Show it the black feather. Have you seen a black feather like this before? Or this feather? Huh? It's a Murkrow's feather? Really? Cool, so there's no mistaking it, huh? Nice! It's those damn Murkrow. So the Murkrow fought with that IPOM and got the necklace. And apparently their nest is near a fat tree. Big fat one. Near the pond. 
Apparently. That's not a fat tree. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Fat ones. Oh, here's a, here's a fatty. So rude. Sorry, tree. So this is searching the Mercro nest. Is it in this tree? Is it the Mercro nest? Oh, it looks like they're not here. So now's a good time to search it before they come back. Leave it up to me. <laughs> Oops, I missed. I got excited. Go Detective Pikachu. We know you're full of coffee. But I believe in you. You cutie. I've, I've arrived. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's any clues here. Oh! Here. Hey, Tim! There's something here. <gasps> that? Pikachu! It's a Murkrow, be careful! Oh, crap! Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh, you saved me by becoming a nice cushion for me. <laughs> so even in failing, I succeed? <laughs> uh, that that'd be right, wouldn't it? My my hand has been on the console pretty much the whole time, and just that moment I go to scratch my friggin' nose, Pikachu jumps on me. But a happy ending, nonetheless. That's fun. Ah, thank God. Succeeded with less style. Well, that's debatable. I think that was lots of style. <laughs> Tim. Tim was the pillow. Tim is the MVP. Oh, yeah, most valuable pillow. MVP. Good on you, Tim. Alright. Alright, so we can um, compare this feather that we got to that Murkrow's feather from the nest. So there's no mistaking that that feather from the crime scene was the Mercros. Alright, so what are we doing? Okay. We've done that. Awesome. Sorry for going into your nest. Did you have a fight with an iPom before? You didn't? Hey, please show him that feather. Is this yours? The fainted iPom, this was near his body. So where's the necklace? Do you know about it? He lost it during the fight? That's, that's an unbelievable excuse. Okay, we're confirming something. I've lost something here. Because it's gone really fast. Okay, what, what happened? So the Murkrow, if we're to believe what he said... Something about the tree that was near the iPom. There was a Minomuchi, which must be another Pokemon. Oh, so I think in the chaos of the fight, the Murkrow was saying that he lost sight of it or something, but there was a Minomuchi. Maybe. Okay, so we have to go back and confirm what's happened and what's happened. We've got a new truth, a new clue, a new evidence. We are closing in on getting this necklace. Okay. So I haven't understood 100% what's happened. But I know that we have to go back to the crime scene. Hey, Mormaro. How's it going?
Okay, so here we are. At the crime scene. Ah, we're searching this tree. Okay, so this is the tree that the Murkrow is talking about. So this is the area where the um, IPOM was felled. I wonder if this is hit. But it seems as though there's nothing here. Yeah, just as I think, we probably won't understand by just looking. Why don't we go ahead and try to... is that climb? Do something, some verb. Ah. <gasps> Minomuchi. Ah, you surprised us, that's no good. Seems as though the necklace was dropped around here, do you know anything about it? Is that right? You don't know anything, huh? Hey, wait, don't return back yet. I've got more I need to ask you. Something about balls. Did you see anyone come here after the fight? If there's anything you noticed, please tell us. Okay, so I have to ask them some questions. Alright, so we're not going to get straight to the answer in a nice easy fashion. There's a whole thing, whole song and dance we need. Hey Tenyaku. Alrighty, let's ask about the necklace. They said that they didn't, un they didn't know anything about it, but... Even if it's a little small thing, if there's anything you know, just just tell us that it might help. Is that right? So you remember something about after the battle? Oh, you remember that a, that a uh, fight happened. But you don't know anything about a necklace. Okay. Let's ask about the IPOM fight. So, the fight between the Murkrow and the Ipom. Did you notice anything? Nothing. Even if it's something small, that'd be fine. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matt. That scared the shit out of me. Thank you very much. That's nine months of subscriptions. And the hype is yours. Thank you, peeps. Thank you very much to Matt here. Have some love hearts for your troubles. Thank you very much for the support, man. It means the world. Alright. So his group was one. And he got wrapped up in a fight. And then it ran away. And in that fashion, has not returned back or something? Who are they talking? What's the subject? Is it the Murkrow they're talking about? I'm going to have to reinvestigate that because I didn't get 100% of that. Okay, we're asking about a ball. Ball, 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 ball. You were talking about something called a ball, ball before. Um... What are you... is that... What's that mean? I think that means, are you in, like... Are you flustered about something? What? What is it? There's a white and black ball. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a soccer ball. There was those, the Pokemon and that kid kicking the soccer ball before. Maybe came crashing into it, that's why they're all flustered and scared, perhaps. <laughs> So that ball is scary, is it? You're speaking so fast. Thank you. I don't understand anything. What? 
<laughs> All right. So what's the thing that I got stuck on there? Hey, Tim. Oh, did someone say what those Pokemon were called, by the way? What were those plant pokies? Thank you, Mats. I will have a good stream. Thanks, man. Oh, I think maybe they're talking about their own, the Minomichi. Oh, one of the Minomuchi hasn't returned. Ah, oh, that's why they're all scared. So the Minomuchi is that stupid Burmy, is it? One of the Burmies has not returned. Okay, so we have to search for them in a different tree. Because it's probably fled to a different tree. Okay. So we have to shake the tree, I believe. To find out if they're in it. Okay. 